Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at uh, installing the vSphere 5.5 client. This we're going to be using to manage our host that we installed, our hypervisor that we installed in the last lab. So let's get started. Uh, again, this is vSphere 5.5 client and we're going to use it to manage our managing our ESXi hosts or our hypervisors. Uh, as you remember, the last screen we had from the last lab uh, was our, uh, our, our screen after we boot her up and we see that uh, the uh, IP address 192.168.1.70 was the one that uh, we installed or we configured uh, as a static address for our hypervisor. So using this address, we want to go ahead and open Chrome and plug in this address into our URL. So up here at the URL, we just type in 192.1, there should be another dot there, 68.1.70. All right, wait a minute, 192.168.1.1.70, yes. And uh, we go ahead and hit enter, and the first thing we're going to see is the site security certificate. It says it's not trusted. Go ahead and click on proceed anyway. Uh, the next screen you'll see, uh, this is coming from the ESXi host, uh, you want to click on this download the vSphere client. By clicking on this, we'll go ahead and download over the internet our vSphere client. And it's about a 300 plus uh, megabyte download, so it's going to take a couple minutes. So go ahead and click on that and start the download. Once you get it installed, you'll see on uh, somewhere on your desktop this VMware vSphere client icon. Go ahead and right click on that and you'll see we can run it as an administrator. So each time you click on this, go ahead and make sure you run it as an administrator. This is going to be important uh, so that we can install our VMs. So go ahead and click on that. Uh, you'll see a, a screen here for logging in uh, to our hypervisor. Uh, so go ahead and you put that uh, IP address in there, 192.168.1.70 again, and then root is going to be our default username and then we're going to go ahead and type in that password and the default password that we're been, we've been using for the hypervisor is just VMware123 then go ahead and click login uh, you'll get another certificate warning uh, go ahead and ignore this uh, you're going to get an evaluation screen it says you have 60 days in which to use this as, as an evaluation then it expires and you'll be required to license it in order to continue or you can just reinstall it. Uh, this is the next screen that you'll see. Uh, your host right here is listed 192.168.1.70. It's in maintenance mode. So to get it out of maintenance mode we're going to just right click it and we'll get this screen here and this is exit maintenance mode. So click on exit maintenance mode and this little mark here will go away and now we're out of maintenance mode. Now we can actually begin the installation of our VMs and that'll be in our uh, next lap. We're going to be installing uh, the free NAS for uh, shared storage. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching.